Welcome to the show. Um, <laughs> that was a, a big build-up for such a small ending, wasn't it? <laughs> Usually it's a woman that goes, oh, that's typical, but instead that was a guy that just went, oh, yes, I know the feeling. Um, such a big build-up and then nothing. Um, hey, we've got a massive, massive show. Joining us is uh, international comedian Sam McCool. He will be on the show. And also, actor and author Lex Marinos will also be here. guest tonight is probably most recognisable as Bruno in the old Kingswood country. Please put your hands together for Lex Marinos. <laughs> How are you, right? I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping I didn't wear that old, oh, that old bloody title again. Are you OK with it? Yeah, cool. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny, like, at the time, you, uh, you, there's no real idea at the time that it's it's going to live for that long, you know. Yeah. Uh, so at the time, I didn't give it much thought to it, but um, but now it's kind of uh, it's cool that people remember it, you know. It's like, wow, well, right, okay. It's quite you know, iconic, it's isn't it? It's, so, uh, it seems to be. Yeah, yeah. Pops up a bit on YouTube every it now does, and then. Yeah, very much so. Little clips, uh, whether whether good or bad, but uh, yeah, yeah. There. no, they're they're all good. Oh, yeah. They're all good. Yeah. 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 No, it's an, it would have been a, would have been a very interesting time, I, I would think, because because uh, you're not uh, Bruno. The character was uh, Italian, wasn't yeah, he? That's not? right. Yeah. You, you're not Italian. No, but in those days, like in the early days of TV, when or when I was starting out, sort of around, and I'd been working for about. 10 years, I suppose, uh, when that happened. But it was like we were all interchangeable. Just, uh, like, you know, Italian, Greek. Well, you're all the same, yeah. aren't you? you know, yeah. Well, we're not really. Ah, oh, no, it's, you look foreign, that's OK. What about, what about you know, Sri Lankan? Could you do that? Yeah, sure, no worries. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, it's all, well, you know, you're just different. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. You're dark, yeah. you're different. Yeah, well, I mean, well, who, uh, who used to do that? Like Mickey Rooney and all, all yeah, those yeah, guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He was Japanese, yeah. wasn't he? And, uh, <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, we used to have white fellas, we used to have white actors putting on blackface to play uh, Aboriginal parts. Yeah, yeah. You know, it was crazy. But it's good. It's good. It's come such a long way now with, yeah, with, yeah. with uh, sure. the, the, obviously the diversity with actors, and, and that's one thing I guess theatre has done is has given a lot of people that that sort of outlet that that they can do that. Um, oh, I think generally there's been more. You know, theatre is a place where there's more experimentation. It tends to be ahead of the mass a bit. You know, so. Things to you know start in that area, I guess, before anywhere else. And but the the, the mass media catches up with it as well. Yeah. You know the shows are incredibly diverse these days, particularly particularly countries that have grown comfortable with it, like the United States and like Great Britain and stuff like that. I mean, it, it, no one questions the the you know the diversity of the cast or anything like that. That's just yeah. accepted. Yeah. This is probably one of the most diverse shows on television right now. This yes, one here. I it would is. say so. It is. Have you seen the, the episodes? We, we've got backgrounds of, of many, many different people. So, yeah. I mean, that, that's what makes it fun. Now, uh, not only an acting uh, background, uh, you've you directed. Yeah. I, I, when I looked you up, I didn't know this too, because one of my uh, one of the series I remember back when I was a, a wee boy, uh, Bodyline. Oh, Bodyline. That well, was a fantastic uh, series. Yeah, TV it was great. Series. And yeah, and, yeah, you directed. Good. You directed yeah, some wrote, of it. I wrote, co-wrote it and um, yeah. directed it. Yeah, so I directed an episode of it, and it was fantastic. Um, but I always, you know, I was never a good enough actor to just be an actor, and I didn't want to just be an actor. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I was always interested in what happened behind the camera, and you know, and ultimately where the power was in terms of the storytelling. You know, who had the who had the balls to actually say, no, we're going to do it like this. Yeah. So that always fascinated me, and and directing was a kind of um, uh, natural progression. Is that a problem with actors now? You think maybe that they... Oh, how could I word this to say that they don't have the balls to, <laughs> oh, no, to, no. to go in, you know no, what I mean? No, like, no, like, no, like, no. like, you're going you're gonna, to, a lot of people accept, because, because of the limited amount of work, you're going to be, yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, or, or, oh, well, there's always that element to it. Yeah. But, but a lot of actors these days run their own production companies, have, you know, a great deal of say in, in the scripts, the way they're developed, all that. They have an enormous amount of clout. I think with and, the technology, and, too, helps, yeah, doesn't it? Like, people can make their own shows It's now. democratised it incredibly. Yeah. You know, kids at home now can do it for, you know, bit of good software and a yeah. decent screen and some couple of programs. Oh, my like kids that. have made some awesome trailers. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they haven't written one script or made a movie, but the yeah, but trailers are fantastic. Yeah. No, but, you know, yeah. it's true. You know, they're, yeah. they're so visually yeah. adept these days. They just grow up with it, you know. Yep. Yeah. 
Now, your book, yeah. because I said you, you do write. I'm thinking of writing a book. I should have asked you. Yeah. What, what, how, how do you get motivated to finish it? You know, oh, I think a lot, of people, a lot of people start things. And then I think there's a, there might be a right. And then I great. died. Yeah. yeah. And then at the end, uh, oh, that's enough. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's enough. There, but, I've um, got 100,000 words. That's yeah. it. I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, I'll tell you what, the best thing about writing a book is you get a shitload of other stuff done around the house. Yeah. Because the moment you stand there and it's, you know, like, not like acting or theatre or film or something, where there's a whole mob of people and you can bludge, yeah. you know? Yeah. You, you're actually there and there's just you on the screen and there's nothing happening on the screen and the curse has just gone like this. You so know? you get up. And it's like, oh, Jesus. I've never noticed, but I'd really need to rake those leaves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know the I, feeling. I, yeah. I better hang out the washing. I'll do a load of washing, yeah. and then I'll hang it out. And then, and, then, and then I'll get back to the. I'll, I'll get back inspired. to it. I'll get back to it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. because um, I, mean, I know with writing stuff that your mind is so far ad advanced in the story to what yeah, you write. Yeah. To, you, you know, you, it'd be good if you if you had little mouths on the end of your fingertips, maybe. You know, ten little mouths, you could just go, these are all the things I want to say and you could finish the thing. Or, so. you know, when you wake up in the middle of the night, that would be a great part for the book. You know, just take that down. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. So how, how long did it take you to, to do? Oh, I did about a period of 13 months or so, but it's slow process. Oh, that's good, 13 months. I've been working on 20 years on mine. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Nin 1997, so that's yeah. that's coming up to oh, that's good. the idea. We'll an anniversary party and everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, what I did is I thought it'd be easy. I wrote the script first, and I turned <laughs> the script into a book rather than go. Yeah, that's the easy so way I'm to do it. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd be 40 years. I know, and I've got to describe everything. So, um, so, so, so your book. This is your memoir about yeah. uh, about. Uh, did you sign this to me, or is that already in there? Oh, uh, that's. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. It's, it's <laughs> devalued the book. A bit. It's just, the, the unsigned but, ones are much more expensive. But, but, but some people like they, oh, like they, they bugger it. I'll make it out to no, you. No, then. no, no. I'm just no, saying. I can it, see just, it's a sore point no, with you. No, 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 no. No, all right, mate, no. no, all right. I'll make it personal. You know. No, no, no. I just didn't know if that's if it's that was in you. there because it's sometimes. To you. No, but sometimes people, to people are. You know, when, when, when you get an official uh, document from a bank yeah. and, and it's got the signature of the, oh, the person at the bottom, yeah, I know, and somebody just scribbled that. Could but, be anyone. Yeah, you don't know. So now I, well, now I know. Yeah, different uh, colour pen. But... Oh, that doesn't matter. But, 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 but you did. <laughs> That's me there. Okay, so you, you did. You want to do that. it again? No, I'm just checking. I just didn't want so that to see... be one of those prints where I'm, it's just. Buggy, I'll just... do it again. Okay. There you go. You can see whether I'm a forger or not. <laughs> Now, that? All right, that's good. That's better. Look at that. Now we know it's authentic. Yeah, OK. <laughs> it's worth nothing now, you realise that? <laughs> I, just, I, I didn't even know if you brought it in for me. I just said, can you bring a book in so we can discuss it? Now, now... Oh, uh, I'm just assuming you can read. Yeah, I can. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, no. There you, are pictures. No, you're assuming... <laughs> that's good. You're assuming that because we don't have any auto cues. That's why, you see. That's I've a bad giveaway. I've got to wing this whole thing, you see. So, um... I saw the auto cue doing this. I thought, oh, well, I'm in trouble. Yeah, here. yeah, no, you are. <laughs> hey, hey, so, so the, the acknowledgement's at the back. Um, yeah. Can you just write my name at the bottom? Sure. Just... <laughs> just so it looks like you've acknowledged me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, and? Uh, uh, and Aaron. Sanders show at whatever. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. What's the date? Oh, oh whatever, yeah, whatever. you know the date. What's yeah. the yeah, 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 whatever. 2000. Yeah, yeah. Six <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Man. So, so this covers your whole life from uh, well, up to that. from. <laughs> it's, I mean, clearly there's right another a... chapter then. Right, clearly the last there's got to be a sequel. Yeah, yeah. You need you need a sequel. But um, your your humble beginnings, yeah. uh, which were very humble in, in the country. They you, were you brought up in the country. Wagga 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 Wagga. Wagga. Yeah, been yeah. seeing double ever since. Yeah. So. Um... Yeah. No, it's true. Yeah. I used to love things that went. I used to dream of holidays in Curry Curry or Woi Woi. <laughs> <laughs> the 1963 Melbourne Wagga. Cup was won by Gatam Gatam. Yes. Yeah. Do you, I, do you know I the movie Gardo Goodfellas? Gardo. Good movie Goodfellas with yeah. uh, Jimmy two times. Yeah. Because he said everything twice. That's right. Yeah, how that's you doing? Right. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's good. All right, that's look, we're going to take a <laughs> we're going to take a quick break. So I'll, I'll have a quick read of the book, and then okay. I'll, I'll come back with some questions about the book. Uh, Lex Marinos will be back very shortly. <laughs> We proceeded to Fez, a traditional Islamic city. Uh, yes, so you would have done a lot of travel in your time too. Let me just let me just give the book a big plug there, and uh, it is uh, it is called Blood and Circuses. Uh, what is the name? Uh, 
Is there a chapter in the book that will reveal what blood and circus is? Well, made? it's blood because it's about family. Yeah. Uh, so it's not. So it's yes, it's written by me. It's sort of allegedly about me, but I, it, you know, like. <laughs> Like the, the last thing the world needs, let's face it, is another actor's biography. Yeah. Um, you know, it's not going to solve anything. Uh, <laughs> so I thought it'd be an opportunity to try and tell a broader story, like my family, not because there's anything particularly remarkable about my family, but it's a very Australian story in the fact that we've come from somewhere else and, yep. you know, bred here and intermarried here and all that kind of stuff, um, and the opportunities that we've had here. So it, it was that story, but it was also about... So the time I started work was a very exciting time in the 70s when there was a lot of change happening socially. You know, we come out of the, the hippie era and there was a... Well, a I, saw the, I saw the picture there. You had yeah. the big oh, the, the big, the big, the big fro, head, didn't you? The big yeah, fro, it was all my own, too. It was fantastic. You're on your own? It was all my oh, own. Oh, right, I see. Yeah. But, you know, it was an exciting time. Yeah. To, there was a lot more Australian content being getting on TV. Yep. Double J was starting up in, uh, in radio. Um, you know, there was, was a there. there was a lot of uh, new wave of Australian writing in uh, in in the theatre and stuff. So it was a great time, to, and, and I wanted to tell that story a little bit too. You know, but it's also, I mean, I hope it's a, a love story as well. It's also about the life that I've managed to have, you know, with my wife and you know, have and our kids and now grandkids and stuff like that. So yeah. I tried to do all of those things. And, I think uh, it's interesting that you don't drive. Is there well, a reason you don't drive? I, I mean, or? I can drive, and I, yeah. you know, I drive a lot. Yeah, I just don't, I, I mean, I just don't, like, there's too many cars on the road anyway, and I, I, it's just no point. I just, so it's just a really Are you an environmentalist in that well, sort in of that way? Well, in that sense, I am. I, a, I mean, yeah. especially, you know, if I get the bus in the morning, come over the bridge in Sydney, and, and, you know, you see so many cars just sitting there with one person in them, and they're just mm. burning fuel and sucking fuel and paying tax and all that, and it's just... Oh, seems man, crazy you're depressing to me, me yeah. now. Look at that. Well, just, <laughs> yeah. no, just, no, but I know no, where you're coming like, from. Yeah. We're the yeah. only city in the world that's building more bloody, you know, it's trying to get more cars into the city. Yeah. Every other city in the world is trying to keep cars out of the city. Yeah, yeah. We're the only one that's saying, no, come on, bring your guzzlers in, you know, yeah, yeah. smoke and do all that sort of stuff. I think it's crazy. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's somewhere around... Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, somewhere. I know that the traffic builds up. That's it, that's, that's quite... Uh, that's what I always thought. I think they should... Uh, any city, build it up, not out. Well, you know, build yeah, it up, well, then you don't have to travel, do you? Gonna, well, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Well, that's right. That's instead of, instead of going horizontal to work, you Absolutely. go vertical. But we vertical. all want qu our own quarter acre, you know, yeah. and we all want our own patch of land. Yeah, you know, our own bit of dirt, so we can just spread further and further, and drive further and further, and spend more time in our cars. Anyway, that's a boring, you know, depressing <laughs> way to go. Yeah, yeah, I know. Right, isn't it? I guess. Anyway, uh, no, I try. But I, you left that out of the book. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, no, nah, that'll be in the sequel. I think about the, you know, the driving. <laughs> Leave them wanting more. That's a good yeah. idea. But um, I do drive. I do yeah, drive. Okay, yeah. yeah. And grandkids, though, that's, that yeah. must be a, a good that's experience. That's fantastic. Is it? It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, it is fantastic because you get the opportunity to do, to to be like, uh, be really stupid again and play really, you know, really, yeah. you know like you, you put the undies on your head and all that sort of stuff. And it's, you know, it's not like it's a fetish. It's more like, oh no. Oh, yeah. Just dressing up yeah. for the grandkids, you yeah, know, we're yeah. just playing dress-ups. It is funny, know? though, that when you see people talk to kids, it's that, oh, boo, 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 <laughs> oh, boo, 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 and it's like, you're making the kid laugh, exactly. but, you know, and yeah. then at some point, that's stupid, you can't have your grandparents there, <laughs> and you do that to your grandparent, can you? Not yeah. really. But, oh, but, but, you know, <laughs> but uh, oh, that happens, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Feeding your grandparents, <laughs> yeah. same thing. You know, it's Nappies, mushy and all yeah, that sort of stuff, yeah. yeah. All goes around, full circle, isn't it? Circle of life. Yeah, but they're fantastic. They are, it's just wonderful, and... You know, the more the merrier. And what are you up to now then? Yeah, because uh -huh. were, were, you, were you touring? Oh, you were around Australia last yeah, year. You did a yeah, bit yeah. of travelling. Yeah, doing a stage show. Yeah. Oh well, I'm just you know a little bit of um, telly when it comes up. Um, yeah. A little bit of radio when it comes up. Some teaching, some directing, some theatre. That's good. How do people how do people get hold of you? Are you are you, are you technology technically? Oh yeah, I've got you know, all, all that. Got all that yeah. All the. <laughs> Otherwise, they ring my agent. <laughs> oh, that's good. You got an agent. Yeah. Ah, we went through your director get this one, didn't we? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. that was good. Yeah. So you can get me. Yeah, that's good, man. That's if so you can find me, anyone can. There you that's go. Awesome. <laughs> that's not a. Well, you know, I mean. Hang I mean, on a minute. Yeah, that what was. Does that mean? <laughs> What do I mean? Yeah, by I that? wasn't sure now. I'm I was... not sure I know what I meant well, by you that. Haven't... Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure that you're not sure. Uh, I, am sh I am sure that I'm not sure. Right, so I'm now sure that you are sure. Yeah. Sure. All right.
if you want, go out and grab yourself a copy of Lex Marinos. Blood and Circuses, please thank Lex Marinos. Thank you. And we'll be back after the break with Sam McCool. It is time to inject a little bit of comedy in the show. <laughs> uh, my next guest has had a sold-out show at the Sydney Opera House. You may also recognise him of Australia's Got Talent. Please put your hands together for Sam McCool, everybody. Thank you, thank you. All right, you're cutting into my time. Um, do you ever get asked the same question no matter where you go, right? Wherever I go, people always ask me this. They go, hey, mate. Hey, mate, what are you? <laughs> hey, mate, what are you? Mate, mate, what are you? What are you? Mate, what are you? What are you? I go, a human being, what are you, a parrot? <laughs> they go, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, but what's your, what's your nasho? My nasho? You mean my nationality? Yeah, your nasho, mate. What's your nasho? I go, Australian. They go, yeah, nah, but before that. <laughs> What do you mean before that? What do you want to know? My past lives, do you? I was a pirate, a prince, and a pharaoh. <laughs> so, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, mate, nah. Like, what's your background? I go, at the moment, this skyline. <laughs> they go, what's your descent? I go, downhill. <laughs> they go, where are your parents from? I go, their place. <laughs> they go, where were you born? I go, hospital. <laughs> they go, what's your ancestry? I go, homo sapien. They go, oh, right, you're gay then, are you? <laughs> I worked it out, mate. I go, look, no, I'll tell you what I really am. What I really am is an embracist. Oh, what's that, mate? It sounds a bit different. I go, yeah. It's basically an embracist. He's a trilingual metrosexual who drives a German car on his way to yoga while eating sushi and caviar. And his Italian designed a suit and Panama hat and have I under thongs all made in Bangladesh. <laughs> now, if you never met one, you're looking at one right now. They go, that's a bit different, mate. Yeah, right. So the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, the problem is that we all uh, believe that we own our culture, right? We all think our culture is our own. That's my culture, mate. That's our culture. That's my culture. It's our culture. You don't own culture. Culture's made to be shared, right? Like Shakespeare, for example, the English think they own Shakespeare, but they got it wrong. Because they do Shakespeare like this. To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune. Load of crap. <laughs> if you go to Stratford-on-Avon where Shakespeare actually came from, they don't speak like this. They speak like this. To be or not to be? I don't know, mate. Why are you asking me? I wasn't even there. <laughs> right? So if you're going to corrupt Shakespeare like that, why not share it with the world? Why can't every country have their own Shakespeare? Like, why can't there be an American Shakespeare, Bob Shakespeare? To sue or not to sue? That's my question. <laughs> why can't there be a Kiwi Shakespeare? To be. Oh, sweet. Multiple choice. <laughs> right? Why can't there be... Why can't, you like the Kiwi jokes, eh? Why, why, why can't there be a French Shakespeare? To be, a voila, I am. Why can't there be a Sean Connery Shakespeare? To shag or not to shag? Silly question. Why can't there be an Aussie Shakespeare? To be, not nah, HB, but give it a go. Why can't there be an Indian Shakespeare? To be or not to be? Listen, give me five B, I'll pay you for three. <laughs> Why can't there be a Chinese Shakespeare, right? Too big or not too big? Don't worry, one size fits all. <laughs> Here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen, culture is to be shared, right? That's the whole thing. <laughs> now, 50 years ago, there was a guy who gave the greatest speech ever known to mankind, a guy who was a reverend and a doctor, a guy by the name of Martin Luther King. Best speech ever. Unfortunately, it was 50 years ago. It needs to be updated. What do you think? Yeah. I thought I'd have a crack. So. <laughs> Greatest speech of all time, as it would be, modern day, globalised, modernised for the modern world. Here we go. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, lady boys and lady girls, <laughs> hermaphrodites, troglodytes, transsexuals, transgenders, gender benders, <laughs> whether you prefer Bruce or Caitlyn Jenner, <laughs> I have a dream for you tonight. Whether your skin is black, white, brown, beige, chocolate, caramel, maca latte. <laughs> Whether you're lightly freckled, heavily freckled, lightly tan, deeply tan, or your last name is tan. <laughs> I have a dream for you tonight. Whether your hair is black, blonde, 
brunette, whether you're ginger, ranger, carrot top, blue, whether you're a gray nomad or a silver fox, whether you got more hair on your back than you got on your head, I still have a dream for you tonight. Because once upon a time, our forefathers said that all men are created equal, but women, they got to fight for it. <laughs> now, let me ask you a question. If we can agree we got forefathers, then why the hell are we still homophobic? <laughs> it ain't a rhetorical question. <laughs> I have a dream that one day that all the nations of the world can overcome their differences and unite. I have a dream that one day the good people of North Korea and the good people of South Korea can overcome their differences the only way Koreans know how, Gangnam style. <laughs> I have a dream that one day Russians and Ukrainians will form a new country called Ukrussia. <laughs> with their capital in Donetsk and a new foreign policy. Donetsk, don't tell. <laughs> I have a dream that one day Croatians and Serbians will lift themselves out of their self-imposed slavery and form a new nation called Yugoslavia where they bend over backwards for each other instead. <laughs> I have a dream that one day Americans and Canadians will realize they're not the only people to play baseball and let other countries play in the World Series. I have a dream of one day Australians and New Zealanders will overcome their bitter differences over who owns Sam Neill, Crowded House, Pavlova, and who doesn't own Russell Crowe. I have one more dream. I have a dream of one day the good people of Queensland and the good people of New South Wales will stop fighting each other on the football field based on the state of their origin, but on the state of their mental health. <laughs> and Queensland will let New South Wales win one damn series once and for all so they can stop calling themselves the Blues. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Sam McCool. <laughs> now, uh, if you want, you can pick up the, uh, the Sam McCall DVD. Sam, where can we get your uh, Sam McCall multiple personality uh, disorder DVD? Off me outside and uh, but, also, but, also uh, online, sammccool.com. I was going to say, you know this is a TV show, yeah, don't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah just, if you're watching at home, just go outside. I'll be around in a second. <laughs> Sweet as. There you go. Check it out. Please thank Sam McCall for me. Thank you very much. Also, there you go. There you go. Stay here. Stay here. Stay, stay. Also, thank Lex Marinos. We'll see you again soon. Good night.